Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be telling you guys everything new in the second update, major update of TSB21. And if you like informational videos like this, then make sure you guys hit that like button. But anyway, I'm just going to take you through everything I noticed and in the patch notes. And if you guys notice anything that I didn't say, then please comment down below. But yeah, anyway, let's just get started. So the most obvious change that they added was this... Uh, barrel house mode I believe yeah barrel house you can find it in the extra basis tab and basically to explain it it's basically I played one round um, or one entry they give you one free entry a day until you have to spend gold um, but basically it's just walk off hero but every time um, and what these guys are um, it just shows you who you're gonna face which I do like because you know, we're always you always have to look at a chart for walk off hero, but they actually show you who you're facing. Um, anyway, so it's basically walk off hero, but every time you beat a round, um, and there's only one level, but every time you beat a round, it lets you uh, decide a skill um, that'll like increase your player five percent uh, for the next round, and then those obviously add up over time. So once you get to round ten you'll have like a 30% skill bonus of different skills that you've randomly been assigned, which is cool. Um, I played it, I beat it. It wasn't too hard. It was basically just walk off hero. Um, and you get some good prime XP actually, about like 3,000. So that's pretty good. Um, the only downside to this is it is paying gold to win. It's one of those game modes because if we go to rankings, um, there's where I am, and these are probably all the other people in the world who've only played one round. And these people have probably played a lot more rounds, like, you know, world ranks players. Because um, they probably spend gold. In fact, I know they spend gold. So that's the only downside to this game mode, but I'd say play it uh, if you want some Prime XP. And yeah, so there's the uh, extra innings and then Barrel House game mode. Pretty cool. Um, Next, we have some payoff pitch changes. Uh, they actually don't have a tower for us right now. However, I will say this interface does look different. It's like kind of purpley now, which is cool. Um, but yeah, I haven't seen those changes yet. I do know that this game mode honestly is too easy. Um, like I've honestly never lost. <laughs> I'm being honest, I've never lost in it. So maybe they made it harder. Maybe they made it, I don't know. We'll just have to see. Um, and also, it said something about payoff pitch skills. I assume that means they're going to add an X factor to payoff pitch. Uh, currently, it's not in the game right now, but I assume that's what will be happening. And yeah, so there's everything you need to know about payoff pitch. And also, one more thing I forgot to mention. Um, they are planning on adding a pitching mode, so payoff pitch CVC, uh, which I'm pretty excited for. Because like I said, I've never really lost in payoff pitch. Um, so yeah, that'll be really cool. And then finally, a uh, pretty big change to the skills, actually. As you can see, these costs look a little different than uh, normal. I wish I had a player to demonstrate on, but I don't. But basically, um, there used to be like 20 uh, skill levels, and now there's skill tiers, I guess. I don't really understand it too much, but I tried getting um, all my guys up, all my keepers up, but it costs an extreme amount of XP. Like this morning, I was at 750,000 XP, so now I'm only on 238. So, yeah, a lot of XP went into these guys, mainly the keepers, of course. But yeah, uh, I don't fully understand. I assume, like, once it shows me Prime XP, maybe the tier of the skill will go up, if I had to guess. Um, the only downside to this is um, I think skills are going to cost a lot more cash now. Um, you'll get more value out of them, like you won't have to, to get to that Prime XP tier, but I don't know how I feel about it, honestly. I mean, yeah, I don't know how I feel about it. And then finally, uh, something about Pick'em. If I go to Pick'em right now, uh, it looks a little different. I mean, it doesn't look like too different, but it does look a little different. Um, yeah, we'll just have to see what happens there. Uh, I did notice in news, um, they said something about the ability to purchase Pick'em badges. Maybe they added that. Um, that would be cool, honestly. So I just don't have to 
guess. I mean, honestly, I don't care for Pick'em too much. I mean, it is worth it to get the patches, don't get me wrong, but literally every Pick'em, I mainly just put yes, yes, yes. And it's sometimes work, as you can see. Um, but yeah, that's basically everything in the new update. Also, just some minor bug fixes. Um, but yeah, that'll do it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, if you uh, noticed anything new in the update that I did not cover here, make sure you guys put that in the comments down below. And have a great day.